The young Laker team recently took a surprise to the NBA world. They beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. Durant, Westbrook, Ibaka, yeah, that Thunder. The Lakers managed to beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. I mean, they haven't won the series, but you know, they won game one. They won game one by eight points. So now I bring you to game number five. Game number five, well, I'll explain why it's game number five in a minute. So here it is, Game 5, Oklahoma City Thunder facing up against the Los Angeles Lakers. The OKC crowd is going crazy for this game as the Thunder are looking to come back in this series. And what I mean by come back in this series, well, surprisingly, the Lakers with Hassan Whiteside, Demarcus Cousins, Jabari Parker, Kobe Bryant and D'Angelo Russell, well, get that out of here. They're actually leading the Thunder. They're leading the Thunder not by two games, but by three. The Thunder have no chance in this series for some reason. The Lakers are getting blocks on one end and fast breaks on the other end. And that's exactly how the Lakers were running this game. That's exactly how the Lakers were running this whole series. Durant was getting upset, and Westbrook was taking the worst shots in the world. Durant gets blocked by Hassan Whiteside right there, and that starts us off in game number six. Excuse me, game number five. The series is a Laker lead, 3-1, so here it is. Hassan Whiteside gets the mid-range shot, makes it a 5-4 start to the Los Angeles Lakers. Westbrook gets the OKC Thunder started with an easy mid-range shot. Kobe Bryant gets a quick steal from Westbrook and he feeds it off to Hassan Whiteside who gets the easy layup. Kobe Bryant, he played quite well in this series, I won't even lie to you. This man Russell Westbrook, I don't know what was up with him, but he decided to take some terrible shots in this series as Boogie goes all the way for the slam dunk. Westbrook, another three-point shot, man. That's not his game. Westbrook needs to attack the basket and go to the ring. Jabari's game, I mean, we all know that. That's a three-point shot right there. Now, Jabari Parker, he's fully healthy. In the last episode that I showed you guys, well, he wasn't too healthy. As Hassan Whiteside gets another block to add to the collection. That's three already for Hassan Whiteside. And with two seconds left in the shot clock, Durant just says, yeah, I'm not worried about that, as he hits the mid-range shot right there. He goes inside, and with a crazy spin move, he makes this lead a four-point lead to the Lakers. Make it a 12-point lead, as JR hits the mid-range shot, making it a four-point lead right now. JR Smith, he's been a really clutch player in this series, and he's been a really clutch player in, the all, in all games this year, really, for the Lakers. JR Smith, he's doing mad work on the offensive end, and he's surprisingly improved a little bit on defense as well. We could have had a massive lob right there. Unfortunately, we missed the lob as Durant goes all the way and slams it down on Alex Land, pretty much ending the first quarter. Just wait. JR Swish from downtown. You already know. Look at those cinematics right there. So JR Smith ends the first quarter, and the Lakers are up 23-18 to in the second quarter right now. D'Angelo gets a really nice pass down to Hassan Whiteside, who gets the and one. Hassan Whiteside and Boogie Cousins, they have a friendship. When, when I first traded for Hassan Whiteside, the friendship wasn't quite there. They didn't really know how they were going to play with each other. I mean, Boogie was a guy that just dominated the post. And then he got asked to play power forward, making Hassan Whiteside run the center position. Hassan Whiteside and Boogie Cousins, yeah, like I said, they didn't get on. And then one day, they just clicked. They both figured out how to play with each other. And now, they're the greatest one-two punch of the current era. Surprisingly, I mean, yeah, maybe I'm overrating them, but in this series, man, these guys are dominant. They're the beast towers, as I like to call them. So at the half, the Lakers are leading the Thunder 37 to 33. It's a pretty even match right now. So we skip to the last quarter, 56 to 56. It's a tied game going in to the last quarter. This quarter is the elimination quarter. If the Lakers win this quarter, they eliminate the Oklahoma City Thunder and they advance to the next round. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy quarter. 
Terrible shot by Westbrook. He hasn't had a very good shooting night tonight. I mean, does he ever? Especially when he's shooting, as Kobe hits that three-point shot right there. And back to a one-point game. Hassan Whiteside gets the slam dunk to go. It's a three-point game with five minutes remaining. The OKC Thunder fire right back with a three-point shot from the old Denver Nuggets player. Boogie all the way. Slam dunk. Back to a two-point lead for the Lakers right now. Four minutes, 14. DeMarcus Cousins gets another block, and we feed him down low. Just kidding. Jabari from downtown gets the three. It's a four-point game. Three and a half minutes left to the Los Angeles Lakers. We finally feed DeMarcus down low. It's about the only time in this game. We haven't really needed to yet, but we do. He gets the miss, gets his own rebound, puts it up, and gets fouled. And with one and a half minutes left, he needs to make these free throws. He gets the first free throw to go, but unfortunately, he misses the second. The Thunder have the ball right now. Allen taking the ball up. He should have fed it off to Russell Westbrook. He decides to go for a layup, and you know offense is not Allen's game. So I have to fast forward this because this took forever. We asked for a screen. We couldn't get the screen, and finally a screen works. We get DeMarcus Cousins, an easy mid-range shot right here with a feed from Hassan Whiteside. That just shows you the chemistry that these two big men have. Westbrook, sizing up D'Angelo Russell, mid-range shot, he finally gets one to go, it rattles in. 69-73, to 73, 40 seconds left in this game. Kobe Bryant, we look for him, we get the ball to Kobe, feeds it up to Hassan Whiteside, gets the slam dunk to go. It's 75-69, to 6-point lead to the Lakers with 37 seconds left in this game. 6-point lead, here it goes. Westbrook, all the way, gets denied by Hassan Whiteside, and that's his 6th block of the game. Look at this block by Hassan Whiteside. He says, get that out of here. And with Allen failing to Marcus Cousins, he's going to the line for two. This is to pretty much seal the game and seal the series for the Lakers. Boogie hits the first free throw. It rattles home. 76 to 69. 30 seconds left in this game. He gets the second one to go. And it's an eight point lead to the Los Angeles Lakers. All they need to do is play some defense right now. The Thunder get a good look with Durant, but he misses the turnaround jumper, and with Boogie on the boards, that's pretty much the game right there. All we have to do is dribble it out. We feed Kobe Bryant, and we bring it out right now. We're just wasting the shot clock. There's no reason to get an easy score right here. We just have to call an isolation with Kobe. Get out the way. This is Black Mamba time. He gets Durant on a crossover, goes all the way, hop step jumper, draws the contact, no foul, but he gets the layup to go. And with a 10 point lead in game five, the Lakers are advancing to the next round of the playoffs. And that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. The Lakers are doing work in this series and we, we're going to the next round, man. 10 point lead in game number five. And look at J.R. Smith. He's pretty happy with himself right there. He knows he played quite well in this series as he has all of these playoffs and in fact, the whole season. Durant shot 17 shots, but Westbrook shot 22 and made seven of them. He shot a terrible percentage and shooting 0 from 6 from downtown really cost the Oklahoma City Thunder the game. DeMarcus Cousins dropped 18 points and 13 rebounds. Jabari dropping 16. Hassan Whiteside with 14, 6 and 6 blocks. J.R. Smith had a 9 point game with 8 minutes. Kobe Bryant got 8 points, 3, of, three rebounds and 9 assists. This was a great game for the Los Angeles Lakers. So let's see who we're facing up against in the next round of the playoffs. Will it be the Pelicans or the Clippers? It's the Clippers. So in the next episode, it will be the Battle of LA. The Clippers versus the Lakers with Chris Paul, JJ Redick, Thaddeus Young, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre 3000. Doc Rivers is still their coach. It's going to be a crazy series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave that like. Let's see if we can reach 500 likes. I'm out. Peace.